Good afternoon, friends. Today we are going to see the new part, manufacture of SPS4 by contact process. Last lecture we have seen the difference between the lead chamber process and contact process. Now see manufacture of SPS4 by contact process in the manufacture of the space of four by contact process two catalysts are used for this process which are these two catalysts first catalyst is platinum catalyst Platinum catalyst and second one is vanadium catalyst. That is platinum catalyst and second one is vanadium catalyst. But out of these, which is a better for the manufacture of sulfur gas in contact process? Now, first difference between platinum and Vanadium catalyst catalyst is initial cost of this platinum catalyst is very high. Initial cost of the platinum catalyst is very high, and the initial cost of the vanadium catalyst is very low. This is first difference. Initial cost is very high. Initial cost is low. Second difference, the activity of after using this platinum catalyst, activity decreases. Activity decreases. Here, activity increases. Activity increases. This is the second difference. By using this platinum catalyst, get poison. But here, by using this vanadium pentoxide, no danger of poison. No danger of poison. Fourth is third. Fourth is here difficult to handle. This platinum catalyst is difficult to handle. But this vanadium pentoxide is easy to handle. In the manufacture of sulfuric acid, you have to use only ten percent platinum. And here you have to use seven to eight percent vanadium pentoxide catalyst. And therefore, in the manufacture of sulfuric acid, the vanadium pentoxide is a better, or it is a better catalyst for the manufacture of sulfuric acid by contact process. Now, this is first part. In the second part, manufacturing process. For the manufacture of sulfuric acid, actual process. There are three important steps which are involved in the manufacture of sulfuric acid by contact process. First step is preparation of sulfur dioxide from sulfur or pyrites. This is the first important step involved in the manufacture of sulfuric acid by contact process. When preparation of sulfur dioxide from sulfur or pyrite, that is iron or pyrite, is used. Then metallic pyrite, uh, metallic sulfides, iron sulfides are used for manufacture of sulfur. Yes, so. So the second step is second step is preparation of SO3 from SO2. By using means conversion of SO2 to SO3 by using atmospheric air, atmospheric oxygen in the presence of vanadium pentoxide or platinum, platinum as well as a catalyst. This is second step and third step absorption of SO3 by water to produce the sulfuric acid. Absorption of SO3 by water molecule. 
Fulodos Sanctification, these three steps are ignored in the manufacture of sanctification by contact process. First step is the preparation of SO2. From air, atmospheric oxygen, by using atmospheric oxygen in the presence of aerodynamic factors and as a catalyst. Second step is the conversion of SO2 to SO3. Conversion of SO2 to SO3. And third one is the absorption of this SO3 by water molecule to produce H2SO4. Next, first actual process for the manufacture of this sulfur acid raw materials. First, raw materials. You have to use here sulfur of pyrimides and atmospheric oxygen as a manufacturer as a raw material for manufacture of sulfuric Sulfur of pyrimides it is metallic sulfide oil of iron sulfide that is pyrimides sulfur and atmospheric oxygen used for manufacture of sulfur let's see first the process Process for manufacture of sulfuric acid. First reaction when sulfur react with oxygen to produce sulfur dioxide. To produce sulfur dioxide. And here 297 kilojoule. This much amount of energy is evolved. 297 kg. Second reaction. Then, iron sulfide, FeS2, four molecules react to it. 11 molecule of oxygen produce Fe2O3. Ferric oxide, Fe2O3, two molecules plus eight molecules of SO2, eight molecules of SO2, and 300, 3442 kg. This much amount of energy is pure. Now, first is sulfur react with oxygen of species takes place to produce sulfur dioxide with 297 kJ energy in the world. In the second, four molecules of ferric sulfide react with 11 molecules of oxygen to produce two molecules of ferric oxide plus eight molecules of sulfur dioxide and 3,444.4 kJ energy is in the both are the endothermic process. Now, here SO2 is for sulfur dioxide. This is the first step preparation of sulfur dioxide from air. From air. Air containing oxygen and sulfur. Air and sulfur are Pyrite kernel, pyrites kernel, pass the through the kernel, pass the through the kernel, this is kernel. Air and sulfur or air and pyrites pass through this kernel. Through this dust chamber, through this dust chamber, this is dust chamber. Through this dust 
la société en moi. This is dust in world. Dust in world. And steam jet is introduced here. Steam jet is introduced. Now, here, air and sulfur are air and pyrites pass through this burner into this dust chamber. Steam is, steam jet is introduced in the dust chamber. Whatever water drops and dust particles present in these gases are settled at the dust chamber. Settled at the dust chamber and then pass here, pass through to the pipe. Pass through this cooling pipe into scrubber, into scrubber, into scrubber. This is scrubber. And here, introduce the water. Water then is introduced. Here, water. What is the role of this scrubber? When these gases pass through the scrubber, whatever acid mist or acid forms are present, this is removed from the bottom of the scrubber. Acid form or mist, and this is the scrubber. Then this pass. Through the dry tower, pass through the dry tower, this is dry tower. Here, concentrated H2SO4 is introduced. Concentrated H2SO4 is introduced. Concentrated H2SO4 is introduced here. Concentrated H2SO4. This is drying tower. When this pass through the arsenic purifier, arsenic purifier, arsenic purifier. This is arsenic purifier. Arsenic purifier. Arsenic purifier. Then this pathway in testing box.
पास रहेगा टेस्टिंग बॉक्स दिस इज टेस्टिंग बॉक्स आर टेंडा टेस्टिंग बॉक्स आर टेंडा आर से लिक्विड फाइबर देन पास रहेगा हीट एक्सचेंजर Then pass in heat exchanger. Pass in heat exchanger. Preheater. Preheater. Then this gas is passed in. This is Olam outlet of Olam. Here, waste gases, waste gases. This is. by 
fixing sulfur and oxygen second step formation of SO3 from SO2 and third step is but here second step is very difficult from this step takes place in the converter and this converter is paired with the catalyst that is vanadium conductor catalyst and in this converter first see SO2 two molecules react with SO2 two molecules react with oxygen one molecule at 595 degrees Celsius by using vanadium pentoxide as a catalyst we get twice SO2 with the energy of 196 kilojoule this much amount of energy is evolved in this step now this is a very difficult step this is a very difficult step and this is a exothermic reaction corruption of sulfur sulfur trioxide takes place here sulfur trioxide sulfur dioxide oxidizes in presence of vanadium pentoxide to produce sulfur trioxide with 196 kJ this much amount of energy is evolved but in the modern techniques two converters are contact converters are used in the first conver uh, converter this is a preheater this is a preheater this is a preheater heat exchange takes place in preheater in the first heat exchange takes place means cooling of gases first gases heat at 500, uh, 595 degrees celsius we are cooled in the preheater and exchange of heat takes place and then in second contact converter the temperature is lower that is 450 degrees celsius and therefore here the conversion of SO2 to SO3 takes place in the converter with the help of this vanadium conductor and this gases which are found on the surface of the vanadium conductor and the remaining gases that is sulfur dioxide oxygen these are not also, also on the surface of the catalyst here these gases these gases sulfur trioxide is passed in the absorption tower now what happened actually in this case the formation of mist takes place because sulfur dioxide and water molecule sulfur trioxide and water molecule forms mist on the sulfur acid form to avoid this concentrated sulfur acid is introduced in the absorption tower and therefore this concentrated H2SO4 react with the sulfur trioxide and the formation of volume takes place and volume when diluted to get the desired proportion or desired concentration of the H2SO4 because to avoid this mist formation at the top of this absorption tower concentrated H2SO4 is introduced and the formation of volume takes place volume is a mixture of S2SO4 and sulfur trioxide and then this mixture is diluted to get the desired concentration of sulfuric acid and the waste gases which are formed in the absorbers is removed at the top of this absorption tower this is the manufacture of sulfuric acid by contact process now physical chemical principle of this manufacture of sulfuric acid depends upon the second step, second step, because second step is very difficult and third step is very difficult because sulfur dioxide absorbs the water molecule, sulfur trioxide absorbs the water molecule formation of H2SO4 takes place. This is the easy step, but here formation of sulfur trioxide from sulfur dioxide is very difficult and therefore the principle, principle of physical chemical principle of the manufacture of H2SO4 is the dependent on this second step. And therefore, the according to this applied principle, the formation of S2SO4 by contact process increases with, increases with lower temperature and higher pressure with increasing concentration of sulfur dioxide and concentration of oxygen. And here, the law by using the law of mass action, Kc. Kc is equal to the concentration of sulfur trioxide square divided by concentration of sulfur trioxide square into concentration of oxygen. Concentration of oxygen. Now this is a reversible reaction. Reversible reaction. This 
This is endothermic reaction. Forward reaction is endothermic. Forward reaction is endothermic. But here, when this is sulfur dioxide is formed, there is a decrease in volume. Here, two volumes are there. Here, one volume. Here, two volumes are there. Two volumes. And therefore, the effect of concentration, effect of temperature on the rate of the reaction, there is a effect of temperature on the rate of the reaction. Now see temperature in degree Celsius. Temperature in degree Celsius. First temperature is 434 degree Celsius. Second 500. 550. Next is 500. Uh, 600. Now see the percentage of formation of SPSO4 at 1.5 to 1.7 atmosphere pressure. Here we get 99% SPSO4. Here we get 93% SPSO4. Here we get 85% SPSO4. And here we get 60% SPSO4. Lowering the temperature and by increasing pressure and by increasing the concentration of sulfur dioxide and oxygen increases the percentage formation of this SPSO4. So and therefore, the temperature at low temperature, but at low temperature, rate of the reaction is very less or very low. And therefore, the rate of reaction is increased by using the catalyst. Catalyst does not change the equilibrium constant or equilibrium magnitude of the equilibrium, but increase the rate of the reaction. This is the physical chemical principle for the manufacture of sulfur acid by 